Hotel. I think I'm gonna like Texas. <laughs> Is it me or does everyone here look like Garth Brooks? <laughs> or Yosemite Sam. <laughs> this tournament is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get on the court and kick some cowboy butt. <laughs> no. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa, guys, check it out. Sweetness at ten no clothes. <laughs> Wow, she really is sweet. Like a butterfinger. <laughs> I just got eye contact in the way. Hey, baby, I'll give you some of that back. <laughs> Ooh, smell her in that fancy, expensive luggage. Look, she's got her own limo driver. I'm going to date a girl with her own limo. <laughs> Eating her? You haven't even said hello yet. Besides, she is way out of your league. She says, what are you talking about? I think he means she's got lots of money and you don't got none. Oh. Excuse me, I... I just... Okay, my break's over. How can I help you? Checking in, Katowinski. With a K. Ooh, the presidential suite. Well, I hope you're a big tipper. <laughs> My wallet's on a break. <laughs> ¿Qué quieres? ¿Quiero una hamburguesa? Uh, no sé. No tengo hambre. Don't you just love the sound of foreign languages? I'm going to try talking to him. Christy, don't. You're just going to embarrass yourself. For your information, I was numero uno in my class de Espanol. Um, I think that was summer school, and there were three kids in your class. Yeah, you can barely order a gordita at Taco Bell. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say hello. Hola. Um, bienvenidos a los Estados Unidos. ¿Te estás divirtiendo? Sí, América es un país muy grande con... Muchas chicas muy bonitas. Ugh, I'm dying. She is so queer. I told you I could do this. Um, Teos sentado in uh, una Nepal en Teos? Sí, todos los días. <laughs> Table's ready. Christy, wrap it up. Okay, okay. Um, adios, uh, La mano na vaca. <laughs> Why didn't you tell those girls we're American? Hey, man, I didn't, I, I didn't want to blow it. I mean, there's something special about a girl that tells you to look a cow. You just broke Big Tech standards all time, all county, all state riding record. <laughs> oh. ah! yeah. Yeah. So, there's that rich girl you're never gonna get. Oh yeah. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hi. Uh, you haven't seen a set of Porsche keys over here, have you? No. Did you lose yours? As a matter of fact, I did. 
Ooh, how could I be so stupid? <laughs> well, I lose my keys all the time. If I added up the time I waste hunting for my Porsche and Corvette keys, it's probably more than I spend studying for finals. <laughs> You have a Corvette, too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to brag. I hate when people brag about material things. <laughs> Look at it. Pitiful. I give him ten seconds before she kicks him. <laughs> so she let you down easy? Her name's Rose. She's an Aries, and she's got a date tonight with a Taurus. Me. My man! <laughs> Howdy, guys. <laughs> Rico, why are you dressed like the Lone Ranger? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the champion bull rider. I owe it to my fans to represent. What fans? Haha, <laughs> make fun, but everywhere I go, strangers come up to me. Maybe they want to find out if the freak can talk. <laughs> uh, excuse me there, partner. I got a message for you from Big Tex. Oh, you mean the guy whose bull riding record I stampeded, right? Nah, uh -huh, whatever. He's looking for you. Oh, uh, what for? Well, he hates it when people break his record. So my guess is he wants to snap you like a toothpick. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got a vamoose. Hey, Silk. Where are you going? Uh, coach asked me to drop his keys at the front desk. And then I'm meeting Rose. Ooh, taking it for a drive in your Porsche? Don't tell me you told that girl you had a Porsche. And a vet. Silk, how could you do that? Yeah, great way to start a relationship. Yeah, you better tell her the truth before it's too late. She's right. If you really like Rose, you better stop all this lying stuff before it gets out of hand. Okay, you're right. I got carried away. I'll take care of it, though. Good. Oh, another romance saved. Our work here is done. <laughs> If you want to save another romance, let's go eat. I'm starved. Hi. Hello. You look beautiful. Thank you. You know, Rose, before we go out, I think there's something you should know about my Porsche. Yes. Well... It's blue. Great. Let's go. Uh, but first, I have to drop this off at the front desk. You're staying in the presidential suite? What? Oh, this. You see, it's just that. I hear it has this amazing view. Well, maybe I can show it to you sometime. I'm free tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> sure. Great. Sounds like fun. Yeah. All right, now let me just drop this off and we can get going. All right, hope you don't mind walking. I gave the limo driver the night off. Oh, no, it's fine with me. I hate limos. I've been in them my whole life. Oh, be right back. <laughs> well, a date in the presidential suite, huh? Suave, but stupid. I know. What did I just do? No Rose, you're saying the presidential suite? Oh, man, what are you doing? So how are you planning on pulling this date off? I don't know. Why don't we just put a sign outside our room that says presidential suite? Well, that'd be fine, except she wants to see the view of the city and we face a dumpster. <laughs> ah, you put six bums in there, look like a jacuzzi. <laughs> if there was just some way we could get Coach out of his room tonight. Okay, everyone, bring it in. I'm ending practice early tonight because I'm going out to dinner with a friend. Yes! I mean, yes, it's nice you have friends. That way you can stay out late and talk, talk. Talk all night. Oh, look, there are those cute muchachos. Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Uh, ¿Necesitas una mano? Oh, no, gracias. Estoy bien. You know, I want to ask him to dinner, but I'm blanking on how to say it in Spanish. Good. Then you won't embarrass us anymore. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, she just skipped embarrassing, went straight to humiliating. See, si. see. Si. You come with us, we feed you. <laughs> when, when? Oh, she really needs to be slapped. Hello? Anyone here? Coach? 
<laughs> Sana. Nice. <laughs> well, the presidential suite is sweet. Maybe I should run for student council president. <laughs> Rico, get out of here. You're going to ruin my date. So my life is on the line. That big text guy's looking for me, and he wants to put a spur where the sun don't shine. <laughs> you got to get out of here. Save me, please. <laughs> Fine. Hide in the sun. What a time, man. <laughs> oh, can I at least have a towel? <laughs> Well, hello there. You look unbelievable. Thank you. Come in. Welcome to the presidential suite, my suite, where I'm staying all by myself. Wow. This is awesome. Gosh, the city looks so pretty from up here. Wow, you're right. You sound like you never looked before. Oh, well, seeing it with you is like seeing it for the first time. Well, that's sweet. So, what's it like being in this big old suite all by yourself? Uh, it does get sort of lonely, but that's, uh, the price you pay for being able to pay any price. <laughs> uh, but now that you're here, it's not lonely anymore. Friend. I don't know. He must be late. Well, that's good. The more he has to wait, the better. Uh, where's he going? I don't know, but we better find out. <laughs> Coach! What a surprise running into you here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, where's your friend? That's what I'd like to know. She's an hour late. I'm gonna go back up to the room, take a sauna, and soak my feet. Uh, wait! You can't. <laughs> Why not? Because. <laughs> Didn't you hear? Yeah. I'm leaving. Hey, hey, I got an idea. Why don't the three of us go out and make some new friends? Hey, yeah, yeah, you know, because San Antonio means city of friends. No, it doesn't. Yeah, well, it should. Adios. What silk? Come on, go, go, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hope you two weren't planning on dining and dashing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. there we go. You want to dance? I'd love to. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is my dance. Yeah. This is fun. I'm glad I met you, Kenneth Hayes, the... Fourth. Really? I thought it was the third. Well, I just got promoted. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm glad I met all three or four of you. <laughs> Let's ignore it. Well, what if it's important? Trust me, no one knows I'm here. <laughs> Look at you. What the heck is going on here? Coach! Why are you dancing in my room? You mean, why am I dancing in my room? Yeah, you must be mistaken. This is Kenneth's room. How the heck she get that idea, Kenneth? Uh, darn, did I go in the wrong room again? <laughs> Wait a second. This isn't your room, is it? Define your. What else did you lie about? Yeah, Kenneth. Silk, coaches, here. Uh, bye. Homeless. What? Are we having a party in here? Whoa, I am definitely switching deodorants. <laughs> Comes in. 45. How many laps is he making him run? Well, he sort of didn't give him a number. Well, that should teach Silk a lesson for lying to that nice girl. Really? I mean, lying is so not the way to impress someone. Yeah, it's so easy to do it the right way, like buying them expensive jewelry. <laughs> hey, isn't that Antonio? Well, that's strange. How'd it get to be on their team? Come on, dude, pass me the ball. I want to shoot a few. Oh! Oh! Something here is mooey fishy. Well, well, well. Or 
should I say? Well, I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but I bet you know what I mean. Christy, let me explain. Uh, you lied to me. You made a fool of me. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. And to think I liked you. You liked me? Not anymore, Mr. No Speak de English. <laughs> well, you really blew that one. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Maybe I could make it up to her, man. She liked me. Rose, please let me explain. What? That you lied to me? That you made up all that rich guy stuff to try and impress me? Kenneth? Or whoever you are, guess what? What? I'm not impressed. I figured that out. It's so lame. Why did you do it? Because I liked you, and I didn't think you'd like me back if I wasn't rich like you. What makes you think I'm rich? Well, the first time I saw you, you had those expensive bags, a limo driver. Those people... were my bags. And that limo driver is my father. That's his job. Your father? Now I feel poor and stupid. <laughs> look, wait, look, can I have another chance? Look, I'm not look, a bad guy. Look, when we first met, I thought you were someone I could like. But your whole deal was just a lie. I don't really care if you're rich or poor. But I can't like someone I can't trust. I told you, we're not going to let Big Tex hurt you. Yeah, so quit worrying. for you. You found me. <laughs> now, where's the rest of you? Son, you're in no position to be making short jokes. <laughs> Congratulations on beating my record. And that's no bull. Come on, Big Tex, I'll buy you a sarsaparilla. Whatever that is. <laughs> Rose still not talking to you? Nah. I really blew it. I'd be with her right now if I'd just been straight with her from the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry, Silk. Maybe she'll change her mind. Wait, it's karaoke night. You're not going to embarrass us, are you? <laughs> no, nope, just me. Then go for it. Baby, baby, take me back. Baby, take me back Where we both know I belong I'm begging, darling, please I'm down on bending knees Girl, I know I did wrong Oh, baby, baby, take me back Oh, oh baby, baby, take me back Baby, take me. <laughs> well, what'd you think? I think any guy who would embarrass himself like that deserves a second chance. <laughs> oh, right. You feel like dancing? to have your first on-screen kiss from the TNBC confessional. Oh, God. That was with Scott. Just a little nervous, you know. 
when you're about to kiss me. I was a little nervous about it. I helped her through it. I eased her through the kiss, the Scott White kiss. I didn't want to make him uncomfortable, and I knew that he didn't want to make me uncomfortable. So we kind of just, like, talked about it. We got it out in the open and just went in for the kill, you know? It was good. It was fun. <laughs> She's a good kisser. We joke about it all the time. Running together. What's the act? Hey, Emma. Busy tonight? Then what do you say, you and me, we... You know. <gasps> hey, Stacy, can I ask you something? like you need a new pickup line. Either that or steel-toed shoes. <laughs> what line are you using? <gasps> Let's get you out of here while you can still walk. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Mary Beth, what's going on? Apparently not enough. My guidance counselor says if I want to get into California University, I need more extracurricular activities. I thought I was the only extracurricular activity you needed. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Boy, I figured with my grades, my SAT scores, and my BMW convertible, I'd be perfect for college in L.A. Well, managing the basketball team should count as a big extracurricular activity. So should being shopper of the year at Bloomingdale's three years in a row. <laughs> Cal used a tough school to get into. I need more. Used to be a cheerleader. How about doing that again? Yeah, I'm not a cheerleader. I'll try to convince myself to let you on the squad. Okay, I'm convinced. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christy. I'll learn the new cheers after school. Okay, come on. Let's go get your uniform. Ooh, picking out clothes. I'm loving this already. <laughs> so what do you want to see us about, Coach? Whoa! <laughs> what is this? All oh, right, a hot tub. Wrong. It's a therapeutic <laughs> whirlpool. And it's not for fun. It's for pain, which you will be in if you use it for fun. <laughs> which brings me to my rules. No running. No diving. Enrico, the restroom is only steps away. Don't worry, I learned my lesson when they caught me from the swim team. And my number one most important whirlpool rule is stay out of it unless I'm around. Get it? Got, Got it. it. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> I've got to get one of these in my car. <laughs> Finally, a reason to come to school. <sighs> you get your feet away from my face. You get your face away from my feet. Oh, yeah? <laughs> By the time it's my turn, there won't be any water left. What's this? Hey, check it out. Coach's NBA championship ring. Oh, very cool. He must have taken it off while he was soaking. Let me see that. I always wanted to try one on. Be careful. What? You're not going to drop it and it's going to fall down the drain? <laughs> I can't believe he dropped it. I hope it didn't go down the drain. <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ooh, what was that sound? Our lives going down the drain with that ring. Oh, the coach is gonna kill us. Oh, man. Uh, one chef salad to go, please. Thanks. Oh, hi, guys. Sorry I'm late, but I had to reshuffle my entire schedule because I joined the debate team. Why'd you do that? Well, I debated whether or not to join, and I was just so convincing I had no choice. <laughs> I guess every activity gets you closer to Cal U. But don't forget, cheerleading practice is right at your class. Don't worry, I am so on it. I have my whole day scheduled right down to the last second. Oh, excuse me, I have band practice in 15 minutes. Wait, 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 you joined the marching band? 
I've never seen you play an instrument. I've never seen her march. Do you have any time schedules in there for me? Of course I do. Oh, time's up. Gotta march. Oh. Rick, what are you doing over here? You're supposed to be getting Coach's ring out of the hot tub. Guys, like I said, you take care of Coach, I'll take care of the ring. We got your back. Coach, what happened? Uh, I twisted my neck looking for my championship ring, which I lost like a knucklehead. Hey, it could happen to any knucklehead. <laughs> Would you say me? I didn't speak. I will not speak. Uh, Coach, we can help you look for your ring. Fine, but first I want to soak my neck. I mean, it's killing me. <gasps> no! Ow! I should fall. Sorry. Coach, soaking your neck's not a good idea. Why not? Uh... Because wet heat is the worst thing for a sore neck. Uh, yeah, you know what they say. Uh, wet heat for your feet, uh, dry as heck for your neck. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, so is scaring people with hiccups, but it works. Boo! Oh, Jeez! Come on, Coach. I know just where to get you some nice dry heat. Fine, but does a hiccup genius have to come? Okay, next time you get him, don't ask me to scare you. <laughs> Did I miss anything in English class? Yeah. Mrs. Johnson dropped a thesaurus and broke her big toe. <laughs> and she said, ouch, five different ways. <laughs> Where were you? Band practice. Missy Garber and I had a little accident with my trombone. Well, what kind of accident? Let's just say Missy needs another nose job. <laughs> oh, and Mrs. Johnson said her essays are now due on Friday. This Friday? Okay, okay, I can do it if I skip sleeping. I'll just take a nap on Saturday. Mary Beth. You're a debater, a cheerleader, the team manager. And don't forget marching band geek. <laughs> Are you sure you can handle all this new stuff? Hey, if I want to get into Cal U, I have no choice. But you still have to take care of yourself. Can't you cut anything out? Guys, I, I know what you're saying, and you're right. Good. But no, I can't drop anything. <laughs> but I promise I won't take on anything else. All right. You're going to stress yourself out. Okay. the student council emergency the president quit and her seat's up for grabs hmm, class president maybe i'll just take on one more thing and remember vote for mary beth for class president i'll do really really good things like what Here's ten bucks. Don't make trouble. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Beth Pepperton. Oh, excuse me? D Mary Beth, you're not running for president, are you? Don't you have enough activities already? This is just too perfect. If I win, my school record will look amazing. She's right. I knew you guys would understand. But you're going to wear yourself out with all this extra stuff. Look, if you guys are so worried about me, you could help me out a little. Okay, what do you need? Uh, well, for starters, I need some campaign posters. Oh. I can do that. What's your campaign slogan? Christy, think of a campaign slogan. Julie, talk to Christy. Oh, and, and use lots of glitter. Uh, and I also need a little help with my campaign speech. Okay, like what? Like a speech. <laughs> Open with a joke, not too many big words. Oh, and don't make promises I can't keep. Do you want glitter on that, too? Oh, yeah, go nuts. Oh, you guys are the best, thanks. Well, hey, is there anything I can do? Well, you could vote for me. Sure. Ten bucks, please. Don't mess. Don't mess. Don't mess with the best, because the best don't mess. Don't fool. Don't fool. Don't fool with the cool, because the cool don't fool. Feed them, bust them, that's our custom. Go cheering! Sorry, I'm late. Mary Beth, practice is almost over. Sorry, sorry, I had a couple things to take care of, but now I'm here, I'm all yours. Well, did you learn the new cheers I gave you? Okay, let's start with the color cheer. Color cheer, got it. Okay. <clears throat> Go blue! <laughs> That's all you learned? Did I get the wrong color? <laughs> Mary Beth, I'm sorry. I was up late working on my campaign speech and doing notes for my English essay and... <gasps> notes! Oh, that reminds me I'm late for band practice. Here, hold my pom-pom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Stay away from me. 
Mary Beth, your debate coach. She's looking for you. <gasps> oh, my gosh, that's now. Here, hold this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't forget, we're working on our campaign speech. Later. Uh, okay. Rico's not here. Maybe he found Coach's ring. Thank goodness. Rico, what are you doing? Finding Coach's ring turns out to be a, a little trickier than I thought. How tricky? I need a bigger straw. Oh. oh, no. That's Coach. What do we do? How long can you hold your breath? About a minute. So, <laughs> hey guys, working out? Uh, yeah. uh, right, Coach? Uh, more push ups. <laughs> What was that? Splashy, splashy. I love doing that. Guys, can you give me a little privacy? I want to soak my neck. Uh, no, you don't want to do that, Coach. What is it now? And don't give me that dry heat junk. I'm soaking and that's all there is to it. I guess you don't mind having your skin fall off your bones. Uh, at least your neck will feel better. What? Mary Beth just put in lots of chemicals. Uh, they, they need time to, uh, oxify. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? I don't know. Let's go to the chem lab and check it out. What was that? <laughs> the fumes, coach. Oh, yeah, from the oxification. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Come on. Quick. Mary Beth. I've been looking all over for you. Coach, can we talk about this later? I've been up all night trying to finish an English essay, and I'm about to go give my election speech. One quick thing. Did you reserve our bus for Friday's game? It's on my to-do list. It should be on your already done list. I'll get right on it. Later. Remember that we're playing Tusk in B-flat from now on. Learn it. Love it. Live it. I'll learn it by next week. We're playing it tomorrow. Sorry, Mary Beth, I know you're kind of busy, but I just ran into Mr. Sheets. He is really mad you missed your debate tournament. I thought it was next week. Mary Beth, I went over your lecture speech. It's pretty good, but I made a few changes. Wait, you're Did changing you... this on me now? Are you nuts? Hey, calm down. I'm just trying to help. <sighs> I'm sorry. I am stressing. Just give me the speech. I'll do my best. Oh, wait, you can't go up there looking like that. You have major bedhead. <laughs> oh, and what happened to your clothes? You look like you've been sleeping in them. I have. <laughs> Come on. It's time for your speech. And let me just get my speech. I, I've been a little busy lately. Is she okay? I hope so. Oh. Um. <sighs> Students, faculty, and my worthy opponent. A human's right to maintain a healthy life outweighs a tobacco company's right to make money. No. Oh. What is she talking about? I don't know. Oops, this is my debate speech. Wait. I'm usually more organized than this. Just, oh, oh, shoot, this is my English essay. Oh, wish I forgot to turn in. Oh, no. Don't vote for her. Vote for me. She broke my nose. <laughs> wait, wait. Um, my, my name is Mary Beth Pepperton, and, and I'm running for president, and I... Come on, Mary Beth. And I... I, I can't do this. Brought you some of your favorite ice cream. Thanks. Nick, I am such a loser. I failed at everything I tried. You didn't fail at everything. Just tried to do a little too much, you know? Well, way too much. <laughs> but I need all those activities on my record. Maybe you don't need all of them. Wouldn't it be better if you did just a couple things, but you did them really well? But I should be able to handle all this stuff. You're not Wonder Woman. Give yourself a break. Uh, why? Callie, you's not going to. Mary Beth, I care about you a lot, and I hate seeing you upset. Maybe what you need to do is, is think about what's really important to you. Set your priorities, you know? 
I don't know. I just need some time to think. Sure. You gonna be okay? I guess so. All right. Look, think about what I said. show where you choose the activities that guide your future. And here's your host, Nick Hammer. Hi, everybody. Hi, Nick. Let's meet our two contestants. First, from Deering High, she majors in shopping and loves giving her opinion. She's Mary Beth Pepperton. And her opponent, a cheerleader with dreams of a career in medicine, meet the always color-coordinated Christy Ford. Okay, the rules are simple. You have 30 seconds to pick out as many extracurricular activities as you think you can handle and make it to the graduation line. Whoever has the most stuff in their cart when they graduate is our winner. And tell them what they'll win, Mikey. Four years of fun, sun, and education at California University. Back to you, Nick. Contestants, on your mark, get ready, shop! Close. Looks like you tried to pile on a few too many activities. But, but I have more stuff in my cart than she does. I have the band, I have debate, I have student council. Look, I even have boys' tennis. Maybe. But you didn't make it to graduation. You picked more activities than you could handle. Mary Beth, you gotta set your priorities. 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 I can't believe Christy beat me in shopping. <laughs> I saw all of myself. At last, a little downtime. <laughs> No worries. Oh. And best of all, no kids. <laughs> Who'd you be? What the heck are you doing? Look at this. I am the Avery. <laughs> Thanks, Rico. Now get out of my face. No problem, Coach. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We talked to Mary Beth. How's she doing? I don't know. She hasn't been answering her phone or her pager. I haven't called Bloomingdale's and I haven't seen her either. She even missed two white sets. She was a mess. She totally goofed the cheerleading squad. Even worse, she goofed up herself. I hope she's okay. Hey, everybody. Mary Beth, are you all right? Well, of course, silly. Never better. Okay, okay. I know I look great. Mary Beth. Did you take care of the bus? Uh, the bus is reserved, the equipment's packed, and the towels are springtime fresh. Smell. Mmm, that's nice. <laughs> I'm impressed. With all those activities of yours, how'd you find the time? It's called priorities, Coach. I am finally going to focus on what's really important to me. My schoolwork, my volunteer work, and the team. Good, Good for you. Coach, man. Hey, I hope I fit in there somewhere. I'll always have time for you. Aww. 
Oh, jeez. Hey, 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 you're wrinkling the towels. <laughs> Tonight on NBC. I know you're angry with me, but I just want to know what it's going to take to bring you home. Hell freezing over. Kate, let her go. Wind on water. Tonight on NBC. It was a great game. One more to win, and we could really celebrate. Yeah, well, we do. We win that trip to New York. Yeah! yeah. Woo. And I'll finally get to see cats. <laughs> what? Can her brother like a cat? Mary Beth, did you get the scouting report on uh, Raleigh Raiders? Yep. Their uniforms are so last season. The important stuff, please. Oh, they're this sort of pukey yellow. They're really queer. <laughs> Give me that. Well... They aren't too big, except for one guy. Guards are good shooters. Hey, Raleigh is coached by Rick Mueller. Hey, I had an uncle named Rick Mueller. <laughs> he always made a clicking noise when he ate. <laughs> Rick Mueller was my assistant back in Houston. Jeez, we haven't talked in years. I bet he's staying at a hotel. You should look him up. You bet I will. And the first thing I'm going to tell him is how bad we're going to be this team in the finals. Yeah! Hey. Can you hold the elevator, please? Thanks. Uh, what floor do you need? 14, but I can reach. I hope you're not in a hurry. These elevators are slow. Well, it's a lot quicker than using the stairs. Unless, of course, I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You should be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> I mean a sit-down comedian. Rico! Nice. I'm trying to talk to the guy, okay? It's not my fault. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. Could you just step back a little so the door can close? Here you go. Thanks, but we didn't order those. They're from the gentleman over there. That's no gentleman. That's a no-good, lying, meanie, pretender feelings herder. Send them back. Christy, they're free. Live it up. No, we're not accepting anything from rude boy. Well, you know, can I at least keep the little umbrella? Cause I'm... No! Oh. Christy, what's with you? How can you still be mad at Antonio? He totally embarrassed me by making me think he couldn't speak English. I made a fool out of myself trying to make him feel welcome in this country. Excuse me. You ladies look thirsty. Sorry, this is a jerk-free zone. <laughs> can I... Can you slip me an umbrella? Christy, what do I have to do to apologize? Nothing, because I can't hear you. La, 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 la. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. You see my friend Rick? Good looking guy, about six foot. Is this Rick guy one of those really cool, slick Pat Rowley type coaches, or is he one of those dorky coaches that always wear the shirts that say coach? On? <laughs> you know, real dorks. Um. Well, I meant, uh, uh, a little help here, man, please. Don't look at me. It's not my foot in your mouth. Anyway, Rick's a great guy. I mean, a real practical joker. Mike? Mike, is that you? Rick! How you doing? <laughs> what are you doing in the chair? Ah, uh, still the big practical joker, huh? <laughs> not exactly. Coach, I don't think he's joking. Come on, the joke's over. I am not pushing you around all day. Stand up, you knucklehead. Hey, I wish I could. Coach, we saw him before. I don't think he's kidding. Yeah, I'm afraid this is the real deal. Oh, jeez. Rick, I had no idea. We got a lot of catching up to do. Excuse me. Step aside. Man in the chair coming through. <laughs> Mike, you don't have to announce it to everybody. Most people figure it out after I roll over their toes. Sorry, I'm just not used to being around someone in a wheelchair. Well, you don't have to apologize. Just remember, I'm a normal person and forget about the chair. You got it. 
I'm forgetting about the chair. Huh? What chair? I don't even see a chair. No chair. How many? One in a wheelchair. Uh, two, please. Sorry. And stop being sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> oh. So, uh, is it okay if I ask how it happened? Well, after I left Houston, I went off to coach in Italy. You know the Leaning Tower of Pisa? You fell off the Leaning Tower of Pisa? No. Although, that would have made a great story. I, I got into a car wreck right near it. Why didn't you let me know? Well, I started letting people know, but then I got sick of people feeling sorry for me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mike. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, I'm having fun coaching at Raleigh, but it's been tough. Most teams wouldn't even consider someone in a wheelchair. That stinks. Yeah, but at least the Raleigh job is one step closer to getting back into the pros. If you want, I can make some calls for you. Well, that'd be great. But don't do it because of this. Do it because you know I can handle it. Okay, that's fair. Uh, hey, buddy, I'll be right back, right? Well, you need some help? Where are you going? To sign up for line dancing. What? <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> But don't worry, I can go all by myself. Hey guys, do you know where Christy is? Well, we have been instructed to tell you that she moved to Alaska to become an Eskimo wife. Too bad, I want to give this to her as a peace offering. It's really pretty. What is it? It's a rare cactus plant that only blooms once every ten years. Every ten years? Wow. Julie! I didn't even know you. Oh, look, there's Christy. Let's go so they can talk. Christy, wait up. Wait a second. Okay. Time's up. Bye. All right, give me a minute, and I'll never bother you again. Fine. You got one minute to prove your point. Ow! Do you have to scream that loud? Mary Beth, you're plucking cactus needles out of my butt. What do you want me to do? You sat on a cactus. I wouldn't ow, have if I never ow, met Antonio. Oh, he was just trying to apologize. You should give him a chance. He's really trying to make it up to you. Yeah, you were the one that said he was different from all the guys back home. You liked that. Yeah, well, that was before he turned my tush into a spaghetti strainer. So if you don't mind, I don't want to hear another thing about Antonio. Fine, you got it. Yep, we're button out. <laughs> We really think you should turn the other cheek. <laughs> yeah, you should just put it behind you. It's not funny. Ow! Okay, it is. Excuse me, any messages for the presidential suite? Nope. How do you know? You didn't check. Listen, if Air Force One calls, I'll be sure and patch it through. Hey, Coach. Guys, I'm looking for you. Jim, how you doing? I didn't know you were here. Really? I left a message at the front desk. Coming! Look, if you're trying to recruit me to coach your college, <laughs> I'll have to pass. I'm happy where I'm at. Actually, I'm here to check out your old assistant coach, Rick Mueller. Rick? That's great! So, is he any good? He's terrific! Smart, loves the game, extremely dedicated. I think he's a good choice. I'd love to see something good happen to Rick. He's gone through a lot. He deserves it. Well, let's see how Rick and his team do at the finals. We just might have something opening up for him at the college. That'd be perfect. But I guess I shouldn't be telling you that since your team's the roadblock. <laughs> well, see at the game. Guess it doesn't look too good for Rick. Why not? Coach, we're favored to run Raleigh into the ground. Yep, and unless Rick knows any magic tricks, they ain't winning that game. Looks like he can kiss that job goodbye. Yeah, sure looks like it. Okay, let me do it again. <laughs> Guys, we keep this up. We're beating Raleigh in the finals and heading to That's New right. York. <laughs> yeah, hey, set up three. All right, bring it in. How's it looking? Like, oh, great. Everybody's clicking, hitting their shots. Do you want us to keep working the scrimmage or working the defense? Actually, I thought we'd uh, give the rest of our practice time to Rick and his team. To Raleigh? Why? 
they're the competition. Yeah, and we still have an hour left. Quiet. It's nice outside. Excuse us, Rick. Come on. Come here. Look, guys, I know we have time left, but Rick's under a lot of pressure, and I'd like to help him out. But, Coach, we are totally dedicated to being the best we can be. And that won't happen by cutting down practice time. Save it, Silk. It's saved. We're gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, Beth. Hey, Julie. Hey, Antonio. What's up? I need to get Christy alone so we can talk. Can you, can you help? Sure. What do you want us to do? Just get her to listen to me for a minute so I can tell her how sorry I am. I mean, she was so nice to me and I made her feel so bad. I think I have an idea. <laughs> I don't understand why we had to rush back from dinner. I wasn't even finished. Because we have an elevator to catch. What? You want to go upstairs, don't you? Well, yeah, but I wanted to finish my pie. What is wrong with this elevator? I don't know, maybe it's broken from people pressing the button too much. Come on, we'll just take this. Oh, no, 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 we can't. We just ate. Uh, right, and you're, and you're supposed to wait an hour after you eat. Yeah. That's swimming, and that's not even true. I'm taking the stairs. Oh, look, the elevator. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm not talking to you. Christy, this is the last time I'm going to bug you, so please hear me out. Like, I have a choice. Where am I going? Yeah. This is it for you. Well, I hope you don't expect me to sit on them. Well, in case you do, I already took the thorns out. So, are we done talking? Look, I'm sorry for being a jerk, okay? I didn't mean to embarrass you. And I really thought it was cool you tried to speak to me in Spanish. You mean you thought it was funny? Well, yeah. <laughs> but I want you to know I really like you, and just give me another chance. Why should I? Because I, I, I like you so much, it's driving me crazy. You mean loco? <laughs> yeah, muy loco. <laughs> Please. Well, maybe. Maybe it's good. <laughs> You have the nicest smile. It's good to see it again. The elevator has to move in five minutes. I wonder what's going on. Well, either Christy escaped through the emergency hatch and is climbing up the cable. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Hey, guys. Mind if I join in? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Thanks, the... I still remember how to do this. <laughs> okay. Oh, bullseyes. No way. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that again. Oh, my pleasure. Wow. Hey, guys, you got room for one more? <laughs> Actually, we're done. We can't compete with Coach. Oh, please, I can wipe him off the floor. Oh, oh. really? <laughs> How about a quick game? Loser buys lunch. I gotta warn you, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, first bullseye wins, you go first. <laughs> Take it. Ooh, just a little off. <laughs> I'll make this quick and painless. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Nice try, Mike. Uh, I'll go get us a table. You might want to take a quick trip to the cash machine. <laughs> No, oh, coach. You totally let him win. Ah, he's had a tough time lately. You know, I, I just didn't feel like showing him up. I'll see you guys later. I don't get it. Coach hates losing. 
You should have heard him trash talking those old ladies when they beat him at bingo. He's been doing stuff like this for Rick all week. You know, he really wants him to get that coaching job. Yeah, well, the best way for Rick to get that coaching job is for his team to win the tournament. I'm beginning to think Coach wouldn't be that upset if we lost to Rick's team. Wait, you, you mean throw the game? You know, I think Hammer's right. I mean, Coach would never come out and say it, but I think that's what he wants. <laughs> if we lose in the finals, we won't get that trip to New York. New York will always be there, but Rick's coaching job won't. important that we're doing this for the coach. Are you sure this is what coach wants? He didn't see it through that dark game. This is what he wants. Have you ever seen him play this bad? No, but the towels are dry, the Gatorade's wet, my job's done. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Run three, three. Hat-tom. What's with you guys? Get in the locker room and try to find your head because they certainly are here at the game. What's going on out there? You're whipping our butts, that's what. It's pretty amazing considering you guys are the heavy favorites. What are you saying? Listen, Mike, if I didn't know better, I'd say your team is throwing this game. No, I may need help with some things, but I don't want special favors. It's insulting. Would someone like to tell me what's going on out there? We're losing. We're losing because we're missing easy layups and throwing bad passes. What's wrong with everybody? I don't know, Coach. Maybe it's jet lag. We came on a bus. <laughs> Coach, we're just doing what you want us to do. And what exactly is that? Give Raleigh a break, go easy on them. Now, why, for the love of Mike, would I want you to do that? Because we know how much you want Rick to look good. Yeah, so he can get that coaching job. You're right, guys. I do want Rick to look good. But I'd never throw a game to do it. Then why did you let him win at darts? <laughs> okay, maybe I was wrong letting Rick win at darts. He wants to be treated like any other competitor. Handing him this game is like telling him he's no good. That's not fair. So what do you want us to do now, Coach? <laughs> I want you to get out there, kick their butts, and win that trip to New York. Besides, I got us tickets to Cats. <laughs> get out there and show them. Go. New York on three. One, two, three. New York! We won! We won! I hope you always win. <laughs> That's what I like to see, a hard-fought game. Congratulations. Maybe you'll get us next year, if you haven't moved on to bigger and better things. Great game, gentlemen. Nice win, coach. Hey, thanks, thanks. Rick, way to go. A lot of teams would have collapsed, but you kept your guys in there till the end. Thanks. We hung in there. Listen, I'll be in touch. I think you should meet our athletic director. Really? I'd love that. <laughs> hey, what do you say we take the teams out to dinner? Sounds great. Let's take your car. We can park closer to the restaurant. <laughs> Next weekend, TNBC sizzles with the hot new music of 98 Degrees. We're 98, 98 Degrees. Heat up the set of Z.
city guys. And you've got a backstage pass. I'm making my very amateur acting debut. <laughs> From behind the scenes. So sweet. Oh, the nicest guy. Very handsome. Really genuine. <laughs> to in front of the camera. It's kind of a stretch for us. We're playing ourselves. The TNBC Heat Wave with 98 Degrees. Forgot my line. <laughs> T -N -B -C.